down to the action. All right, looks like Jez was on the play, playing out of power here. Martin starting things off with Scout. So Martin, it's, it's interesting because both these players are kind of taking the control route. You know, Martin's deck has a lot of ramp, removal, play big heavy hitters, but Jez is also kind of removal, play heavy hitters in the late game. So it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. The one advantage, it does feel like the sling potentially has the better card draw in the late game. So we'll have to see if that sort of takes over and trumps the, the earlier plays by Martin's deck. Yeah, I think like, I don't know, I feel like sling might be better in this in this matchup just because you know you don't have the um you don't really have really good removal for for things in in martin's deck um and know that enemy i mean yeah know the enemy's great when you are trying to like destroy your opponent's board but they don't you know jez is just not going to have that kind of board right yeah, no, the enemy not not as good, but that's the flexibility of that card. One of the reasons that card's so good is that it's so flexible, and you can still draw cards off of it. But we're gonna see. It's gonna be a little bit of a slower one. My my guess is that this is probably gonna be the last. <laughs> we're gonna watch this one. We're probably not gonna have any backup <laughs> rounds because it feels like every other deck in the tournament is like aggro, <laughs> trying to kill you as soon as possible. And these are the two decks that are like, nah, we'll take our time. <laughs> right. So they have a transpose, probably. Yeah. Transpose yeah so I guess bad. from beyond would have been a good way to to get rid of sling. If they have it, what what does Jez have in hand? I'm sorry, I don't have I don't have. Uh, sorry, Jez is strategize a Rost, a Kenna, and a Tamara. So three big hitters. And then actually just flopped out their strategize for a turn to seed. So now Jez has turn to seed and then a big four, five, and six. No sling to be seen, but that's all right. It is the display bug as well. Jez only has five cards in hand. There's Hailstorm for the turn. That's probably not going to do much here. Maybe it'll clean up some Valkyries after a Roland or something. But uh, Kenna going to hit the board first. All right, and here comes Roland. So turn four Roland, that's pretty good. Hard to do with four Justice, two Shadow, but Martin was able to do it. That's going to get immediately turned to Seated by Jez there, drawing a Geminon for turn, big 7-10. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Roland is the obvious choice for a turn to Seed. I mean, otherwise it can get really, be a pain in the butt. Martin here's got a Diana too. That's really impressive from your uh, power base to be able to play a turn four Roland and then a turn five Diana. <laughs> right. I'm going to choose to go with the Smuggler instead. Options for Martin in the market are Enter the Monastery, Equalize, Svetya Lightbringer, Massive Greatsword, and then an Azendel Revealed. Going to go with the Enter the Monastery here. Just going to try to keep... Ramping up to get more power, beat Jez on the power race. They have how many copies do they have of? Okay, they have from three copies of From Beyond. So From Beyond already changed to Mave, so they have two Maves in their deck, which could be useful later on. Interesting draw here for Jez. So Jez did draw the Sling of the Chi, which is very powerful, especially with the Kenna already out there, but notably no more power. So Jez not able to get anything else. Actually, I'm sorry, it's uh, it, it's six, right? Not five. So yeah, actually not drawing any cards off of the Kenna. But does have a Ross and a Tamaris and a Geminon in hand to play next time. But Jez needs to draw power to do that. <laughs> Nice. That yeah, good. that display of vision is actually going to take care of the sling before, just in time as well. Here comes, the, and there's that undepleted power for Jez, which means they're still going to get a Rost off here or a Gemini on here, but 
Well, well played by Martin to get rid of that sling just in time before too much damage was done. So yeah, I forgot, you know, that this deck does have display vision to to hit sling with Sabretooth Pride Leader as well. And right. then, you know, from beyond and as early plays to try to get it out. I think the real question is going to be, is there enough removal and card advantage to keep up with what Jez is going to be doing here? Because all right. of these units are going to have to be dealt with from Martin's side. You can't just leave a Geminon sitting around. Martin's already right. at 12, courtesy of this Kenna. You can't leave this Kenna sitting around. You can't leave this Geminon sitting around. We're going to go, know thy enemy is going to hit a Pride Leader and a Diana. Those are two good, yeah, two good units to hit. But they have equalized as opposed to say pristine light in right. the market. So you don't really have ways of killing things. Yeah. I mean, no, this seems tough. Off. I, I don't see how I don't see how the vision mid range deck here is just gonna keep up with every single unit has is just gonna be too big. I mean, Jez is following up with a Rost and a Tamaris here. It's not like it's not like we're following up with two twos, <laughs> right? And know thy enemy. I'm sorry. Uh, send an agent is not exactly helpful either because you can't target anything, right? Yeah, someone in chat, Gorzameth in chat also says, you know, permanently, there's no really way to permanently deal with Rost either. <laughs> I mean, right. it's not, you can temporarily get rid of it and try to kill the opponent before it comes back off of the shift, but. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I just sort of think that the market choices are maybe, you know, like Pristine Light or Shenra Speaks or, you know, those sorts of things maybe. To deal with it. Although, I mean, they do have Desert Marshal as a way of dealing with. True. With um, Rost. Yeah, Desert Marshal can do that. But... Oh, look at that. Transpose to protect themselves from Equalize. Oh, yeah. Wow, Transpose. Sweet. Look at that. Rost is going to hit. Oh. Martin's probably going to slam the Equalize, but. That's sad. It's so good, though. It was like. <laughs> That was their out. That was the out. Now, Senate Agent can slow down Ross, but that's still going to be more than lethal. Yeah, I think Lights Out Ace puts it well. The issue is that it's uh, the parade of units that don't care about Pride Leader or Know Thy Enemy. Exactly. It's, it's the yeah. units that Jez is playing don't care about any of the interaction that Martin has. <laughs> right. Martin's interaction is good against the other decks that are a little bit more aggro-focused, have monocolored units, are lower to the ground. Big, giant, multicolor units that give you advantage is not what this deck is lined up to beat. So, yeah, Jez is going to take that one. And I worry. I, I don't really see how... I, this just seems like a just mishmash of deck builds, right? I, I'm just looking through this list, and it's like... You could try to exploit out some things, but unfortunately this vision deck can't really put a lot of pressure either. Yeah. So it's not like it's... you can beat the sling deck before they're able to get things going. I guess you could try to get maybe if you had a little bit of ramp and you were able to you don't even have a lot of ramp. You try to get like early Dianas and Rollins and try to just beat down, but yeah, it doesn't look good. I mean it's it's not like this deck is bad i mean it's not it's it's good it's just that against sling it just can't really deal with slings threats right and that's just too bad you know right and it's interesting this is another more evidence for what trs was telling us about how the deck doesn't result revolve around sling is that one thing that martin's deck can do well is get rid of the actual card sling of the chi right. But right. Jez doesn't care. <laughs> like, it yeah. doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't really 
other than just slow Jez down, maybe that doesn't actually stop what Jez is trying to do. And that's what Martin, that's really the only effective thing Martin's deck can do is take out Sling of the Chi. So right. here you got two Desert Marshals, a Smuggler, and a Roland. So if, if there's a world where Martin can aggro out and get some pressure on, this would be the hand to do it. But can exploit here. Gonna see Permafrost, Rost. Kenna and a Snowball. Yeah, I'm going to take that Ross. That seems like an easy choice there. That's one of the yeah. few ways to get rid of a Ross. Of course, Jez draws another one off the top. <laughs> but it was good, though. It was a good good way of getting that, rid of that one, at least. Too bad that they had another one. All right, Pearl Alley Smuggler. Pearl Abbey Smuggler. Like, what do you get rid of? Like, roll. Yeah, can I get rid of a Desert Marshal for an Equalize? I almost feel like Roland is just not relevant, you know? Yeah. All right, Skycrack Blueprints. Yeah, there's an Iron Thorn. That can be big. It's going to be bigger than Kenna. Look at this Equalize. Wow, just say discard some cards. Discard down to three. So Jez has six. So that's half of Jez's hand. That's that's a very interesting. Equalize to discard three is not the mode you see super often. <laughs> Jez going to hold on to Power Kenna Rost. Uh, that was a good, good time, though, to, to play it, really. You know, with the, with the uh, Waste Stone. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Martial Iron Thorn's bigger than Kenna, so that will survive. It's one of the only cards that can really tussle here, but of course, Jez is going to follow up with a 7-7. Seven, seven. Mm. And they circle. can't play Roland or Diana. Yeah, oh, can't play either one, so I was, I was singing the praises of the power last game. This game, not so much. One time, one shadow means neither one of those units can be played. That is the... One of the challenges of playing this deck, I think, is is just the influence. Agree, the influence is just really demanding. And that's going to be it, just like that. <laughs> Maybe that matchup isn't going to take as long as I thought. Yeah. Just 27-18, going to take that one 2-0. to zero.